I'm also using this option because like I said previously, when I look, when I went to look for an audio interface where I could easily stream to like a mobile device, I wasn't able to because everything is pretty much sold out. Besides iRig, there's a lot of other brands that offer audio interfaces that can do the same thing. Um, since I'm also a producer, as a lot of DJs are, a lot of people also have these sitting around, which is just a regular external audio interface, which I actually have this Scarlet Solo audio interface, and I bought this probably two or three years ago in a bundle for about $100. It came with the external audio interface, it came with a XLR cable microphone, and some headphones. So it was a great bundle and it's extremely popular. If you go look at the reviews on Amazon, it's a great first interface, um, you know, very low cost for investment, getting started and just seeing if you're gonna stick with it. If you do a lot of stuff with Ableton, recording live instruments into the computer, an audio interface is a must. And it just so happens that you can literally re reuse it here. And the big difference is with this interface is it allows me to connect my DJ controller to my desktop um, using XLR. And that was a big benefit for me because then once I have the um, input coming to my desktop, I can then route this audio signal directly to my software called OBS. This is, I think it stands for Open Broadcaster, Open Broadcast System or something like that. But pretty much a lot of people are using this to stream. It's live stream software, screen capture software. You can do a lot with it. And this is what I'm doing with the audio signals. I'm routing it directly to the OBS software running on my computer and that's going out to my live stream. I use OBS to do the live stream. And then I have a separate video source. Um, this is just audio. My video source is my camera. I have a Canon M50. It's a mirrorless camera that I got pretty much just to vlog with. So it does 4K, it does all the high resolution stuff. I have that running into a Camlink capture card which then attaches to my desktop, which then OBS can see. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of fly through what this setup means. So basically I already had this here, this audio interface. It was already connected to my desktop computer using a USB cable. That's the output from the interface to the desktop. And in case you don't know what an interface does, basically it takes an audio signal and then it converts it to data. And so this audio signal can be um, any kind of instrument, a microphone. In this case, I'm using my DJ controller where my example, I'm using my Denon Prime 4, which is a very large professional controller. And with this, you have a lot of options. And so you also have different types of output where you can, a lot of controllers will have a booth and a master. The Prime 4 also has different zones and all of these options. And so I'm using the master output from the controller, which is XLR, it's two cables. And then from those two, those two cables, I have what's called a Y connector where it takes two XLR cables and it combines it to a single cable. And that's what feeds into the front of the audio interface. The Scarlet, Soto, the Scarlet Solo only accepts one XLR cable uh, as input. Um, and so that works fine in my case. Also on this controller, I have a microphone input and I'm using a booth output and so when I perform on live stream, I don't hear this signal. This signal is going to my desktop and to the OBS software and out to the world over my live stream. The signal I do hear um, is going to be this booth signal. And I have that. It's, again, two XLR cables. And they're connected to two very large KRK Rocket 8 
monitors. They're gigantic monitors. Um, very, very powerful for a small studio, but that's what I've got. And then I've got some headphones to cue. So I have a very good setup. Um, on this interface, just like you saw in the iRig, I can adjust the gain, which is kind of the signal strength going into the audio interface, not to be confused with the volume. And that's what's passed on here. And if you want to do this setup, you'll need um, one, a versatile controller, two, some sort of audio interface. There are tons of, tons and tons of external audio interfaces, which all do the same thing. Um, and that's going to be converting, kind of, to think of it in a simple manner, converting an audio signal to uh, data, right? And then it's going to go over this USB connection. And then it's also going to, once you do that, you can change the cable. This doesn't need to be XLR now. This can just be USB, which the computer can, uh, you know, accept that and uh, understand that data and process it to back to sound for OBS. Um, the second thing is this CamLink capture card, which is the same thing an audio interface does for audio. Um, my camera feeds into this capture card, which is a video card, right? And this is a sound card, right? And this video card accepts um, this um, video connection, which is a micro HDMI cable going from camera to CamLink. And basically, this is just going to look like a series of pictures, right, by the time it gets here. And by the time it's sent over USB, this is data again, right? So this is the video source. Um, this is the audio source. OBS will kind of duct tape those back together for me. And then why am I using OBS for live stream? Well, one, I want to be able to use my really high resolution camera and not my cell phone. And then two, I can do some other cool effects such as use a green screen. Um, I have all kinds of control of the stream if I want to use um, like, a, like a waiting screen. Say I, I'm not ready to start the stream, but I want to make the announcement. I can have like a screen saying, you know, stream starting in 30 minutes or something. You have all sorts of really crazy cool features and controls that the OBS software offers you. And then all of that is going through my computer. And again, once you have OBS running, you can output to the same platforms, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you, this is the CamLink um, the capture card. This is it, that's USB 3.0. That's HDMI uh, from the camera. You have a micro HDMI cable on one end, and then this is regular HDMI that plugs right into the capture card here. And this plugs right into the back of a computer or a laptop. And now you have an input video source that's live. This is the external audio interface that I'm using. It's the Focusrite. Scarlet Solo, it's only got the single XLR input. And then this is the back of the unit. You have USB, which also is the power, and then you have left and right RCA outputs. The left and right RCA outputs can be your studio monitors. However, in this case, I'm not using them since I'm routing all the data through USB back to the computer. Then lastly, this here is the Y connector. It has two ends here. This is female and then one male. And this male side goes into the audio interface. These two sides I connect to a longer XLR cable that then runs to the controller. And in this case, again, I'm using the Denon Prime 4.